Bonjour. Hi, friends. Hi, guys. Today I thought that um, since I'm, I'm packing for um, a day out, I thought I would show you guys how I prep my meals for the day um, to stay on track if you're going somewhere or going to work or anything like that. Basically, I'm going to show you how I make my lunch. So, start with a lunch pail, my friends. You need a lunch pail. You need a lunch pail. Um, you need lots of containers and you need a water jug. So my first thing that I do is I drink two waters before I go out. So I'm setting two aside on my placemat for the morning. Then I drink four when I'm out during the day. So I'm going to pour those in my jug. And then I drink two more at night when I come home from my outing. Um, so I will be putting two bottles aside on my placemat for that evening. So first I'm filling up my jug. And this jug is... 2.2 liters. Yeah, 2.2 liters. Um, it four. was $3 at Walmart. So Yeah, and it's equivalent to um, eight 8-ounce eight glasses of water, basically. So yeah, basically your whole water intake can be in that bottle. The, and you want to get yourself like a lined lunch pail. Uh, it keeps things a little cooler and it's just helpful. And I always kind of try to measure my lunch pail to my containers. This year, unfortunately, I couldn't find one that fit my normal meal prep containers. So I'll show you what my solution to that is as soon as I pour my last bottle of water. So then I just stick this in the fridge beside my lunch pail so that I take it in the morning when I go. And that way, I have no excuse not to drink my water. Yep. And by placing the four on the mat and the four in this jug, I know exactly how much water I need to drink and I can keep track of it that way. So the next thing I'm gonna do is this container does not fit down in the bottom like I'd like it to. So what I've been doing is I, um, and you guys are gonna tell me to just put it in this other container anyway, but I don't have room in the freezer. So it continues to need to be portioned in the thinner ones, and then when I'm ready to use it, I just pour it in here, because this one fits in the lunch pail. And so that I don't have to bring a knife to cut my chicken up, I just cut it with meat scissors. It's all about saving time and being prepared. Yep, and then I just cut it into bite-sized pieces so I don't have to worry about it when it's time to eat it. And that's it. All my rice, my veggies, my chicken, it's all ready to go. And you can save time on your lunch break too with, without you know having to cut it up. And I just heat it and then it's done. And then I'm just gonna give it a little mix so that everything is kind of smushed around and I don't have just all rice or all veggies. Yeah, and we, we like to show you guys these meal prep videos because it's really our, our secret to success, how we stay on track, is to be prepared. Because um, you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to have nothing ready when you're hungry. Because it's too late then. Exactly. And, and the other most important thing is the portion control. Um, which is why we portion everything out, why we always have measuring cups and containers. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is my other meal, this will be my lunch, but my, my snack meal will be oatmeal. Um, now because this is a, just a silly configured lunch pail, I will be putting a plastic container to cook my oatmeal in and putting the lid on top because I like to cook my oatmeal with a lid in case it gets big in the microwave because sometimes it overflows. I pack my fork and my spoon and a napkin. Gotta be prepared for anything. Yep. And now I will um, measure out my oatmeal. Okay, so I have my oats and I'm going to put a tablespoon of cinnamon protein powder in it to flavor it. This kind is really good, guys. It's cellucor. It smells really good. It's called cinnamon swirl. Yeah. So that's how I'll be flavoring that. Mmm, smells delicious. And I'm just going to stir it up in the bowl. Pack 
package it in my little container to fit the lunch pail. Was that a dollar store uh, this, container this too, one, that little green one? Yep, this one was a dollar store. Most of our containers are dollar store or Walmart. So that's that for the oatmeal. Save space too with those tiny ones. Yep. And then, um, I like to, you don't have to, but I like to put a tablespoon of syrup in my oatmeal once it's cooked. And this one is the Mrs. Butters, Butters, Mrs. Butterworth's Butterworth. No Sugar Added Syrup. Yep, so I just pour the tablespoon in there and then I get that ready to go. To cook my oatmeal, I'm going to need one cup of water. So I pre-measured it and I pour it in this container. It's, a, it's leak proof. It's pretty good. It's just a Popeye shaker um, cup. And that way, like you guys can just fill it up wherever you are, but if you don't have access to measuring cups and your dog drinks really loud in the background, <laughs> sorry, um, then you just pre-measure it in a cup, then it's done. I just pour my oats in the bowl, I pour my water in the bowl, give it a stir, heat it in the microwave, and then pour my syrup in after, stir it all up, and put it in my belly. <laughs> That's what I do. And because I'm having protein powder, Generally, I like to take a fish oil because it um, helps me digest a bit better the protein powder. So this is an omega-3, and it's just the Equate brand from Walmart. So, put it in my plastic bag, and I reuse this because there's just a pill in it. So, vitamin in the bag. Next, oh, I'll just like to show you this. <laughs> um, I eat celery and peanut butter for breakfast right now with an egg. Now the egg is really quick and obviously measuring out your peanut butter doesn't take time. But cutting up the celery does. So I pre-cut it and I put it in water and it lasts the whole week. It stays fresh like that. Then all I do is I pull out four pieces because that's equivalent to like two stalks of celery. And I dry it with a paper towel and then um, put my peanut butter on it. And then my whole breakfast takes literally like five minutes to prepare because I've done all the cutting of the celery. So there's that. Then my meal that I eat, I eat my oatmeal and I eat um, yogurt and berries. So I'm gonna measure out half a cup of berries. I like them frozen because I like when they defrost, they give a nice little juice. And I'm gonna put them there just because I'm gonna put my yogurt in first. It's a lot easier to mix the yogurt up without the berries in there. So this is half a cup of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. And the berries are a Walmart berry mix, frozen. Yep. There we go, half a cup going in. Okay, and then a teaspoon of vanilla. This whole bag, half a teaspoon of, of stevia. Stir it all up. And you can put other stuff, like I've put coconut extract in before, I've put maple extract, whatever you like. I mean, you can eat it plain if you like, but this this is nice, a nice flavoring. I, I like the vanilla yeah, with me the too. berries. That, that's what I do too right now. So now it's all mixed up. I, uh, I always like to get all the extra off the spoon. <laughs> and then you just put your berries on top. And then all the juices will go in the yogurt and flavor it even more. And you put your lid on. And you lick the floor like our dog. No, don't do that. <laughs> And so that's it. The rest of my day, I prepared a little bit. Um, but for um, reference, we, we're going to be eating tuna as a pre-workout uh, meal. And so what we like to do is if we're making, you know, half a can of tuna, I generally make half a can. If I'm making half and I know I'm eating the other half the next day, I prepare 
them both. So I get two containers, I put half a can in each, and then I put in my measurements for whatever. I like to put half a tablespoon of, of like low fat mayo in it, and then some celery and onion, and I just pre-mix it all, and I put it in the fridge, and then I have two days worth of tuna. Yeah, we like to share these little time-saving prepping tips with you guys. Um, if you've already got all the stuff out, why not prep more? Exactly, and then what I like to do on Sundays, when I'm making my oatmeal for breakfast, I make it for the next day too, so that Monday is prepared. When I'm making my lunch on Sunday, I make it for the next day too, meaning I just put it in the container because it's already cooked and everything. Um, same with my breakfast. If the celery needs to be cut, I cut it all Sunday so that Monday I just pull it out of the container. So basically, if you're doing it once, do it once but just do more of it. So yeah, if you're making chicken, make chicken for an entire week and just freeze some of it. That's basically what we do. Like we prep in advance and then we just pull it out of the fridge. It's so much easier. It will save your life and it will keep you on track all week. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below and we'll do our best to answer them if we can. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned some good tips from it. Don't forget um, to check us out on Instagram and don't ever forget the most important part. Don't forget to like and subscribe or what? Or else. Or else what? You know a little thing about this? My fist of two. And it's coming. Here it comes. Boom. Bye.